Kate's fishing sister. We're down at Marion Bay on York Peninsula. We've come down to do some squid fishing off this jetty. This jetty is well known for big squid. So it's still winter, it's August. So it is the right time of the year to get some decent sized squid off this jetty. I'm very hopeful because I love a fresh squid dinner and I'd love that tonight. So let's see how we go. To start with, I'm trying a hand line with a squid jig hanging underneath a float. Throwing these out is harder than it looks. Oh. Blue or blue, I want a rattler. Okay, got one already. <laughs> we literally just got here, Martin. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. So we said, like, we're not leaving until we get a squid. We got here. Two minutes later, Martin's caught a squid. <laughs> literally. Two minutes. One squid, one or two more, and then we'll have a beautiful dinner. It's cold. Oh, hands are so cold. Suddenly dropped to about eight degrees. Feels like it's going to rain. That's no good either. I've switched my float rig now to my rod because I'll be able to cast it out further than throwing in my hand line. This should stop the problem of it getting so close to the jetty, which is a sure way to lose your rig. Oh, he's got another one. Reeling him in, that guy. He's got another one. Oh, he's got his crab net out as well. Yeah, he's bringing it in in his crab net. I think he got that just on a lazy one out deep, just floating. You know? Like this, just floating. Like, I don't think he was doing anything with it. I'm going to try a whole pilly on a squid jig, see how that goes, because I'm not getting any action. All right, here goes nothing. so reedy here you can't let it sink to the bottom or it just gets stuck ah, on the bottom. come on ah. stuck come on not seaweed i think oh yeah i might have one on martin i've got one on 
Oh yeah, it's a good one. Oh, it's, yeah, I've got a good one on, honey. It's pulling. <laughs> This is a good one, check that out. Look at the size of it. <laughs> so we're gonna try using our crab net. This is a little trick that we've heard about so that you don't lose your squid. So you just drop your net in and then you just bring it over the top. Bring it over the top, float it in, and you bring it up. Look at that. Because who wants to lose that? Now look at the size of that beautiful squid. Super excited, got a Marion Bay squid, which was our aim of coming here today. Use the trick of the crab net, because this was quite heavy in the water. And this one's a good size. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I have to show Kim. Look at that. Two. We've got two. One each. There <laughs> is dinner. That would be enough. <laughs> That's such a cool trick about the crab net. I'm so glad that we heard about that. Because there's nothing worse than losing a big squid because you can't bring it in. So that's never going to happen now that we know about this trick. <laughs> Very nice. It's Marion Bay squid. Check it out. <laughs> They're such unattractive things. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like it's about 32. So looking forward to making something with that squid tonight, Martin. Oh, if you're going to go to the shops, can you get some flour and see if they got kiwi fruit? Because we need to try and marinate it. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get this cleaned up for dinner. No worries. Actually, I think I've forgotten how to clean squid, Martin. Well, I think you better learn quickly. Well, maybe you should watch my own video. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those beauties. This, it's so big you can't even reach all the way down in the body. Like normally you can just reach the quill all the way in. But it's like, I can't even. Wow, it's big, big Bertha. Got your whole hand in there. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> I wonder if like when they get big, if they get tough. It, it could be like whiting, you know, they reckon if a whiting's over a certain size, it's not as good. Yeah. But I don't think that one is that that big. Well, I think it's pretty big, Martin. Well, um, we'll find out when we have it for dinner. Yeah, look, it's ink sacs intact. Well done. It's like with salmon. Salmon trout are lovely and sweet, and sometimes the big salmon get a bit, you know, they don't taste as good. So this is definitely the biggest squid I've ever caught. Well, I've never had to clean one this big. Managed not to break the ink sac, Martin, getting it out. I mean, look at this. So, <laughs> that's so big that we'll just eat the tubes for dinner and then everything else we can, we'll use for bait or in a burly bag, maybe. Yeah, we'll have squid rings and then keep the tentacles and yeah. the head for bait. Yeah, because tentacles are great for bait. They're so sticky. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep that just like that for yep. bait. 
It's really hard to clean them when you don't cut them open, like when you want to keep it as rings. But if you're not doing rings, you can just cut them open and clean it up. So Linda's talking about marinating it. If you marinate it in, what is it? Mashed up kiwi fruit. Mashed up kiwi fruit. It makes your squid go nice and tender. Apparently it's like a chemical reaction that tenderises it. I don't know. Some people used to put it in milk, I remember. Oh yeah, milk. Yeah. How thick do you like to have your rings? <laughs> yeah, that'd be right. That's more like 10. This is going to be a feast. <laughs> Look at the size of the rings. It's such a big squid. All right, so that's that. So all of this, we've got for bait. Oh yeah. So there you have it. Fresh and clean squid rings, ready for marinating in mashed up kiwi fruit. I think these are the largest squid that we've ever caught. So we've come back to the camp kitchen in the Marion Bay Caravan Park. It's a great kitchen actually, very well equipped. And we're going to cook up the squid that we caught, two of them anyway. The third one we're going to keep for another night because it's a bit too much. I think this is plenty <laughs> for two people. So what I've done is I've mashed up some kiwi fruit and I've marinated this for half an hour. This is a little trick that we've heard about and we've tried it before and it's great. You just marinate your squid in the mashed kiwi fruit and it tenderizes it, some kind of reaction to the acid in the kiwi fruit or something. But anyway, works a treat. So that's what we've done for half an hour. So now I'm going to rinse this off and then we're going to crumb them. And that involves egg, flour and breadcrumbs. So squid's all clean, kiwi fruit's all washed off. Squid into the flour, into the egg, into the breadcrumbs. Look at that. Wow, look at that. That looks great. Doesn't it? Oh. Look at those breadcrumbs. They look amazing. They are fantastic breadcrumbs. It's messy, but it's worth it. But we're hungry, so. It's just going to feed us. It's pretty cold too on the jetty today. But look at this, it was so worth it. So it was three eggs. Three eggs, yeah. I thought two would have been enough. Secret ingredient. Yeah? What's that? Red wine. Red, <laughs> red wine. It's supposed to have white wine. That's right. It's too cold for white wine. Wow, look at that. Ooh -hoo. My mouth is watering. <laughs> Chippies. Nice salad. Need to mix up. Oh, yeah, the salad. Nice salad. I think for once we probably came out in front with what we spent today on bait and stuff and what we're getting. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a nice change. Looking good. Mm. That is so fresh. Not chewy, yeah. Not chewy.